Hi, this is Sir Bren, and in this video, I will show you how to solve an aggregate planning problem using QM for Windows. This problem is from the Operation Management book by William J. Stevenson, 11th edition. This is on page 486, chapter 11, example 1. And in this problem, planners for a company that makes several models of skateboards are about to prepare the aggregate plan that will cover six periods. They have assembled the following information. So we have six periods and we have the forecast quantities 200, 200, 300, 400, 500, and 200 for a total of 1,800. And other given data is the regular time at $2, overtime $3, subcontracting six dollars inventory one dollar per skateboard per period and average inventory and back orders five dollars per skateboard per period so we will compute the regular time per month we have one eight or one thousand eight hundred divided by the six periods so we have a regular production time per month of three hundred then we have the number of periods six months and the beginning inventory here is zero let's go to our POMQM for Windows this is version 5.3 and what you are going to do is go to module and select aggregate planning and then select new then aggregate planning you can add the title here and the number of periods is 6 then shortages back ordered and then press OK the method used here is at the default smooth production average gross demand so let us leave it that way and then we input the data and we have the regular time capacity 1800 divided by 6 equals to 300 so let's do 300 here then for overtime capacity this is at 0 same as subcontract capacity for the unit cost let us input the given we have the given regular time two dollars overtime three dollars subcontracting six dollars holding carrying cost one dollar and back order cost five dollars set at a default smooth production average gross demand method let's press solve to see the output output shows that the total cost is $4,700 with a backlog or shortage of 100 units we can minimize the total cost or get the lesser cost that will be seen in example number 2 in example number 2 operation management by Stevenson page 487 chapter 11 the problem says after reviewing the plan developed in the preceding example planners have decided to develop an alternative plan they have learned that one person is about to retire from the company rather than replace that person they would like to stay with a smaller workforce and use overtime to make up for the lost output the reduced regular time output is 280 units per period that's why we say here that the regular production time is 300 and we will reduce it to 280 units per period the maximum amount of overtime output period is for the overtime output per period. Then develop a plan and compare it to the previous one. We say that the previous cost is 4,700. We will compare this example number to output to that. Again, the number of periods is 6 months, same as example number 1. Regular production time is 280 hours. So it is reduced from the original 300. 
beginning inventory initial was zero units but in the example one we can see that there is a backlog of 100 units maximum overtime hours is 40 to compensate one worker who resigned the data for forecast is the same as with the cost all we have to do is to edit data the demand for each period is the same and we are required to change the regular time capacity to 280 and then at the overtime capacity to compensate the person who has resigned we will input a maximum of 40 we can do trial and error we can input 40 here 40 here and 40 here initially and then see what will be the total cost and at the initial inventory we have a backlog of 100 units let us solve this one by pressing this solve button we can notice that the total cost is the same at 4700 we can further reduce this one by manipulating the overtime capacity so let's press edit instead of 40 here we will place 40 in period 3 and then press solve after all the trial and error we have arrived to the total cost $4,640 therefore the total cost is reduced from $4,700 to $4,640 by $60 with this thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I will see you again on my next video goodbye and keep safe